please observe the indicator LEDs on the power supply. You can see that when I turn on the power switch, the main relay closes but is not held. This indicates that our MCU is not yet running. When the MCU is functioning, it communicates and commands the power driver ICs to maintain the operating state, keeping the main relay closed for a period ranging from several tens of seconds up to more than a minute, depending on the ECU model. This behavior allows the MCU time to store runtime data during startup. Therefore, we can easily tell whether the ECU is truly active by observing the power supply. Let's review the circuit diagram and analyze the sequence. When IG power is applied, it goes into IC40048 at pin 19. The IC begins to operate and issues a control output at pin 20 to close the main relay. Observe the power bench. When I flip the switch, the main relay closes, confirming that IC40048 has received IG and has commanded the relay to close. So the question becomes, why is the ECU still not running even though the main relay is closed? We must think logically about what follows relay activation. Specifically, check, check the following conditions. Are the post relay power rails present at pin 18 and pin 42 of IC40048? Is power present at the drain D terminal of the step down MOSFET? This MOSFET drops voltage to create the 5 volt rail for the ECU electronics. If those three post relay rails are present, check whether IC40048 is producing the gate drive around 6 to 9 volts at the MOSFET gate G. Only then will the MOSFET conduct and produce the 5 volts at the source, S. Case A, if the MOSFET gate drive is present but the ECU still does not run, measure whether there is 5 volts at the MOSFET source. Uh, if you have 12 volts at D and 6 to 9 volts at G but no 5 volts at S, you can conclude the MOSFET is faulty, or the 5 volt output line is shorted somewhere. Case B. If 5 volts is present but the ECU still does not run, analyze the next rails. The 1.5 volts and 3.3 volts supplies generated by IC40048 for the MCU. If 1.5 volts and 3.3 volts are present but the ECU still will not run, the MCU itself is likely at fault. This is a logical inference. To confirm MCU failure, you must perform additional checks. I will publish a separate detailed guide on diagnosing MCU faults. If the 1.5 volts and 3.3 volts rails are missing, then IC4048 is likely defective or those rails are shorted. Based on the analysis sequence above, you can visualize where we should start our diagnostic measurements, right? First, when the IG power supply is applied to pin 19 of the IC40048, this IC begins operating and sends the command signal to activate the main relay. As we checked earlier, when we supplied power, the main relay engaged. This indicates that the 12 volt IG power at pin 19 of the IC is present. The IC is functioning and it has output the ground control signal for the main relay, causing it to turn on. However, the relay does not latch, which means the ECU is still not operating. This tells us that there is an issue somewhere in the circuit. Therefore, we need to continue checking the next required conditions after the main relay engages. Specifically, we must verify whether the post main relay power lines are supplying correct voltage to the IC 40048 and whether this voltage reaches the D pin of the 5 volt power MOSFET. Now, we will proceed to measure and verify each condition step by step exactly as I have outlined. Follow this sequence to pinpoint why the ECU has not entered its operating state.
First, I will check the IG power supply to pin 19 of the IC and the main relay control signal at pin 20. Although I believe both signals are fine, I will still measure them so you can observe. As you can see, the IG voltage is already present at pin 19. Let me adjust the meter so you can see it more clearly. So the IG power is confirmed. Next, I will measure the main relay control signal. Since this is a ground side control signal, we need to place the meter probe on B+. As you can see, we have approximately minus 11 volts as the control signal for the main relay. This means that the IG power and the relay control signal are both working correctly. Next, we need to check the three post relay voltages supplied to the power section, pin 42 and pin 18 of the IC, and the D pin of the 5 volt MOSFET. Remember to switch the meter probe back to ground. Pin 42 has 12 volts coming through the main relay. Next is pin 18. So both pin 42 and pin 18 have 12 volt main power. Now we will check this voltage at the D pin of the MOSFET. In this ECU, the MOSFET is located on the side of the main board. This is the one right here. During the measurement process, remember to keep the power supply jumper wires organized. If you accidentally short them to the main board, the ECU can be damaged. Now we can see that the 12 volt post relay voltage is also present at the D pin of the MOSFET. This confirms that the IG power, the main relay control signal, and all post relay supply voltages are in good condition. So what should we check next? Following the sequence, after the main relay turns on, what should happen? As we analyzed in the previous lesson, once the post relay voltage is present, the IC 40048 should output a gate voltage to the 5 volt MOSFET to activate it and generate the 5 volt supply. 
Let's measure that gate voltage. At the G pin of the MOSFET, I only measure 1.5 volts. So I will check this signal directly at the IC output. This control signal comes from pin 14 of the IC. Here, I measure 4.2 volts. This is abnormal. Look at the schematic. From the IC output, I measure 4.2 volts. But at the MOSFET gate, I only get 1.5 volts. Based on this, my conclusion is that the MOSFET is internally shorted, causing the voltage to drop because there is a resistor between the IC output and the gate to limit current. So we have identified the root cause. The 5 volt MOSFET is faulty, so the 5 volt rail is not generated, the main board receives no supply, and therefore the ECU does not operate. I will lift the G pin of the MOSFET off the main board to check whether the fault is caused by the MOSFET being shorted or if the IC40048 is faulty and causing the voltage drop. When I isolate the MOSFET gate from the circuit, the voltage rises to 10 volts. This confirms that the 5 volt MOSFET is indeed shorted. Now I will remove this MOSFET and replace it with another one. 